LGBTQ travelers will appreciate Guam's many different offerings, such as the alluring crystal clear beaches, luxurious spas, rich culture and history, delectable cuisine, tax free shopping, and a myriad of adventures. This, according to local tourism officials who promote the territory for its friendly and accepting community. And for those who call the island home, like Edward Akbaji Jr., he says he feels the love and support. Um, so I think that we've been sort of, um, how do I express this? Like, we have, we have great representation in um, politics right now. We have, like, ever since. Maybe some of them were in the closet. Maybe, I don't know. But um, all that I know is that currently we're noticing a lot of very prominent political figures. Faji, a gay man and recent UOG grad, says he plans to one day be an educator and a writer. He shares the plus side. I think, um, quite frankly, queer politicians and out queer people who are in politics and in doing the work are doing the sort of representation for us rather than our straight counterparts. Along with a specific need in the local community that's still lacking. I do believe that we don't have as much of an adequate kind of support system for our trans youth and trans people. In While Akfaji highlights the change he sees in Guam's leaders, Tamuning resident Marcel Palomo says... So I've actually been in the military and I've traveled all around the world. And what I can say is the way the gay community is represented here is almost non-existent. I feel like there are things that we can do as a as a community, as an island, as leaders, uh, to help either promote or expand um, what we currently have. Palomo, also a gay man, admits he's not sure what that expansion would look like. He's leaving that up to the people who want to be elected to lead Guam. I do want them to do better. Other issues he feels um, is in need of attention from leaders, the condition of the roads. I'm actually from the south, and the roads down south are still as bad as they were back 20 years ago. Yes, they have made some patches and have done some, some reconstruction, but um, not as much. And I do know that when tourists come here, I do see a lot of them venturing to the south. And um, it almost gives a vibe where the south is not... Um, it's not as important as Tumon is, or Daddy Do, or Jigo. He's also tired of hearing how leaders say education is a priority, but he feels they rarely show results. If we're harping and we're focusing on education, I just hope they put more power into pushing education forward because we're not dumb people. And I know that we're on a rock, but I know that there are many brilliant minds out there that have great ideas, um, but I think they just need the tools to help them get there.